What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm stoked for today's video because this is a project that I've been thinking about in my head for a couple of years now and I'm finally able to introduce to you guys a new knife that I sort of had a say in the design aspect of it. It's not my own custom knife that I designed like all the way through, however, I met up with a really cool knife maker. It's kind of an interesting story. And I was able to sort of tweak some designs to fit my own style of what I like to carry. And now these new blades are available right now. So let's talk about a little bit of the backstory first. Now this all started about two months ago when I was back in Eastern Pennsylvania visiting visiting some family. I was in my hometown at a local gas station in the morning. There was a guy standing in front of me in line, sort of like, give me a side eye looking at me. We made eye contact and he's like, you're Talon. I was like, yeah, what's up, man? He's like, hey, I watch all your videos and blah, blah, blah. We started talking a little bit and I come to find out that he is a local knife maker to the whole area of where I grew up. And he actually has a shop 10 minutes down the road, like right in the hometown where I grew up. So I was intrigued by this. He invited me over and once I had some time, I was able to go and check out his shop. So the owner's name is Ryan and his business is known as Two Feathers Productions. So he's a small local business making these blades all himself from start to finish. He does everything. We got to talking about different models of blades that he has and he offered to make me my own custom knife. And I was like, sure, but I don't really know know much about what you're doing so what would you recommend what's your favorite blade so Ryan recommended this blade right here because he knows I'm outdoors a lot I like to go camping so this right here is the 2f7 insane insane fixed blade so since he offered to make me a custom knife I got to pick like my handle materials and stuff like that and I wanted to go with the knife that was sort of like his flagship this is the one that he recommended and he knows what I like to do with knives so this is the one that he first made me so the 2f7 is a massive seven inch cutting edge blade and this thing is just built like a tank it's really fit for kind of like survival bushcraft or camping and the way I will probably end up using this knife is for a lot of firewood prep. It's made out of a 5160 steel, which originally started as sort of a automotive spring steel. So it is insanely durable. It does take a pretty good edge. I haven't actually sharpened this one yet. This is the factory edge right out of his shop. And the only real downside to 5160 is that it is not super corrosion resistant. So just like all of your knives, you should take care of them. So occasionally I've been throwing some oil on here when I know that I'm not gonna be using it for a little while. Now this blade is full tang and it's actually cut out of a quarter inch piece of steel. So this thing is super chunky and every time I pull it out of that sheath it almost feels like a mini sword, like a samurai sword or something. The handles I chose on this one are a layer G10 so it's sort of like black and gray and the way that he cuts out the little grooves into it you can sort of see the material through it which is really cool. And then those are held onto the tang with some screws and they are replaceable so if you end up breaking them or you want to just switch things up you could make your own or or just get some more from Ryan. You can see there's a really nice flat all throughout the blade with a little swedge on top, so I could definitely see myself batoning this through some pretty thick logs. You could even prep some food with it if you wanted to, or if you're like Ryan and you've studied the art of knife throwing, you can actually throw these things, which is ridiculous. So this is the first blade that he made me, but that's not why I'm making this video. While I was at his shop picking up all the different knives and sort of seeing what I liked, I kept gravitating towards this knife right here, which is the Two Feathers Workhorse. I kept picking this knife up over and over again because it's just like a really good size for a camp knife, food prep almost an EDC knife. You could do pretty much anything that you want with this. So when I got the first package in the mail from Ryan, he did send me the 2F7 because this is the one that we sort of agreed on that he was gonna make me, but he also threw this into the mix, which is super cool. So Ryan, thank you for doing that. He also sent me a note and said, hey, I saw you kept picking this knife up, so I figured I would make you one of these to match as well. So that brings us to the workhorse. Still made out of a 5160 steel, full tang, same G10 handles to match the 2F7, and it is quarter inch steel. So this thing is super thick and chunky. It's got a really good weight to it. The finger choil on this one is a little bit more pronounced, and once you get a two finger grip there, the knife is really well balanced. I should also mention that this is a flat ground blade, which I typically prefer on a lot of my blades. It allows you to sharpen to whichever angle that you see fit for whatever you're gonna be doing with the knife. This one I also have not sharpened. This is the factory edge that Ryan puts on them and they are insanely sharp right out of the box. 
So once I got the workhorse in my hand, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to EDC a fixed blade again. And for the past month and a half now, I have only been carrying fixed blades. If you watch back through some of my recent videos over the past like month and a half, you may see this thing poking out of my front pocket. I've been front pocket carrying this thing for a while now, and honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to a folder after this. So this is the type of sheath that is included with the workhorse. This knife is coming in at about $160, so super affordable when it comes to custom knives. You get the sheath included, thing fits in there super snug. I've had no problems with this thing rattling loose or coming out. And then for mounting solutions or how you would actually carry this knife, it has a ulti clip. You pop that thing open and this is something that I'm no stranger to. I've had these on holsters and different knife sheaths in the past. So you simply drop that down into your pocket, close that latch up and these things are super, super strong. No matter where you put these clips, whether it's on your belt line or inside of your front pocket, where I like to carry mine, that thing will not move for the entire day. So this is the package that I was carrying for about a month. Pretty large blade, it does take up a lot of front pocket space, but I was able to carry this with my cell phone in my pocket and then I have this big old handle sticking out the side. Super easy to get a good master grip on and pull it out. Cut stuff, open boxes. I'm basically just using this as an EDC blade. So now that leads us into why you guys are here watching this video. I was carrying this thing for a while and I texted Ryan, I said, hey, would you be down or like open to me sort of making some tweaks and designs to sort of make a knife of my own? He was on board immediately, which is super cool. So I immediately got to work. I basically took his workhorse, which is an already existing design on his website. You can pick these up right now, as well as the 2F7. I threw it into Procreate and I basically traced out the design and I just sort of tweaked it a little bit. Made the handle a little bit smaller, made the blade a little bit smaller. That way I could still carry a fixed blade just like this, completely custom, custom sheath, handles, everything. But I wanted to make the workhorse a little bit more EDC friendly because I'm not like going out there chucking these knives into trees. I don't need a crazy big camp knife on me at all times. So Ryan got to work immediately and now I'm happy to introduce you guys to my collaboration between Psy and Two Feathers Productions. This is the Mini Workhorse. Now the Mini Workhorse, just like its larger counterpart, the Workhorse and even the 2F7, this is a quarter inch 5160 steel. Since this is a knife that I've personally been testing and carrying for a while, I did put my own edge on here and this thing got razor sharp, like hair popping sharp. I stuck with the black and gray G10 handle scales, but this time instead of the grooves, we did just sort of like a little shallow cut in there to sort of show off the design of the layers. And again, those are replaceable just like on the larger counterpart. There's a really nice finger choil there to help balance out the knife. And I just took enough off of the original workhorse to make this thing fit perfectly in my hand. You can still get a good grip on it in your pocket or on your belt line wherever you are carrying this thing. And I have pretty large hands. I typically wear like a size large glove and there's just a little bit protruding out of the back end. So if you wanted to use that back side as sort of a pommel, that's something that you could do. Now, just like the workhorse, the mini version is also a flat ground blade, which I love. It does have a really nice flat on there. So you can mount this up to whatever sharpening system you use and put your own edge on there if you like. We also added an acid etched two feathers logo to the left side of the blade and since this is a collaboration we also have a acid etched psi logo on the right side of the blade. Now when Ryan sent me the prototype of this knife he actually sent me two different versions because I wasn't sure if a small blade like this would fit my hand well and be a good knife with that quarter inch steel. So he also sent me this version of a prototype right here, which is a 3 16th version. A little bit slimmer, still feels really good in the hand, but after comparing both the 3 16th and the quarter inch, this one just has a little more flair to it. Anyone can sort of cut out their own fixed blade design and make it unique, but what drew me to his blade specifically was the material choice, that 5160 and how thick this thing is. It's really hard to tell on camera and in photos, but once you get a blade like this in your hand, it just feels unlike anything else. Now, would the slimmer version be better at EDC tasks? Yeah, it would probably be a little bit better of a slicer. It would definitely weigh a lot less. 
But I wanted to keep this thing unique, and since it's a collab project between me and Two Feathers, he sells a lot of blades in this thickness right here, so this is the one that we are first putting into production, and he's making them right now. I believe there's 25 available over on his website. Link's in the description down below. So these are available and shipping right now. In the future, for anyone who picks up one of these blades, maybe if you guys would prefer a slimmer version, then maybe we could make those 3 16th versions as well. But for now, this is the knife that I fell in love with. I've been carrying this thing every day. I believe Ryan is actually carrying one as well. And this is a really cool project because he's into sort of like bushcraft survival, large type of knives. And I'm of course into the EDC world. So we sort of blended both of our styles into the mini workhorse. And this is the final result right here. So this right now is my go-to blade. I've had this in my pocket since I got this first prototype and there are just so many things that I love about carrying a fixed blade. This knife also does ship with a sheath just like the other ones. These are all handmade by Ryan and you can tell the design is a little bit different on them because we wanted to sort of maximize the pocket space. I like carrying this in my front pocket. I like to throw that clip in there as deep as it will go and then push it all the way to the right side so I can carry a fixed blade in my pocket but still also carry a big old phone in there. This is a iPhone 13 Pro, the big version. It is a little bit tight, but it does work, and this is how I've been carrying the blade for the past couple of weeks now. Now, price point is one thing that I wanted to keep in mind when making this blade, so it's coming in very affordable, again, for a custom blade. They're starting at 175 shipping with the sheath, and shipping on these blades is also included to anywhere here in the United States. So I believe that's all that I had for today. If you guys have any questions on this blade, please let me know. They're probably going to sell out pretty quick, so keep checking the link in the description down there. If you do pick one up, I would love to see your own photos out there on Instagram. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think of this thick little EDC blade. I really wish I could just like put this in everyone's hands so they could know what it feels like because it's it's just insane. Also, big thanks to Ryan. It was really cool to run into you and I'm glad we were able to sort of bring these things to life. I don't know what the odds of two small business owners from the same small town in Pennsylvania linking up and coming together with a project like this, but it's super cool, man. If you guys are into quality USA made knives and you like supporting small business, then go check out his website. These are available right now in small quantities and these other knives are basically made to order. So if you like the 2F7 or even the full size workhorse, you can place an order over on his website and his lead times as of right now are pretty damn fast. So you guys will see me using this blade as well as some of his other blades in some upcoming camping videos. Definitely looking forward to putting that 2F7 to the test and I'll give you guys some more feedback on the blades in some future videos. So that is all. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.